it feels like the cat 2 exam is just over and the aspirants who clear the exam and subsequent rounds are just joining their dream mba colleges that is iims also on the other hand cat 2023 exam is approaching soon and only 4 months left for the exam this year exam is likely to happen on november 26 sunday though the official information has yet to come if you are planning to attempt cat 2023 and by this time you will be in any of the below scenarios an early bird like you have started your preparation early and focusing on completing the syllabus or you have completed your syllabus and started giving your mocks or there might be a case like you have been started your preparation but planning to start it soon so if you belong to any of these categories then just remember that the next coming four months will be very crucial all you need to have is follow a 3c approach that is commitment consistence and constructive commitment to your goal consistent throughout your preparation and constructive in your approach this approach will turn your efforts into results and this will make your path to your dream colleges that is IIMs. There is no rocket science in this and the ground reality is that your result is directly proportional to your level of efforts. So aspirants, utilize your next 4 months systematically and spend your time more qualitatively towards your preparation. Follow these 5 principles to succeed in CAT 2023. First and foremost thing that you need to do is stop procrastinating there is this famous saying about procrastination by benjamin franklin that is you may delay but time will not more than 80 percent of the cat aspirants will have this procrastination effect and as the time approaches they tend to rush to finish the syllabus which in turn results in incomplete preparation or poor preparation and eventually that will end up getting poor results so Prepare a schedule of the list of topics that you want to cover and stick to it. Yes, we understand deviation happens, but the more you try to follow this high, the higher the chance of you clear the exam. Second thing that we ask you to do is do a SWOT analysis. This is one of the very famous techniques to introspect yourself. That is do a strength, weakness, opportunity and threat analysis. Spend enough time to check what you are good at. It can be like you are good at quant, but your reading skills are not up to par. Or your problem solving skills are too high, which is most required in DLR section, but you cannot remember formulae. So we suggest you to do an analysis, then decide on your preparation strategy. If you are not sure about how to do an analysis, Take a mock test or try to solve previous year's CAD papers. This will help you to know your strength and weak areas in each and every section. Based on that, you can allocate your preparation time and prepare accordingly. If you want to practice previous year's CAD papers, we have given them on our website. These are for free. Just enroll to them and start practicing. Link is given in the description. And remember, CAT exam has sectional cutoff, so you must give equal priority to each and every section. Failing to do so will result in a scenario like you might end up getting 99 percentile in quant, but your VIC percentile might be less than 60, which in turn will impact your overall percentile and you will be not eligible for the next rounds, that is GDPA and VAT. Third thing is study plan basics notes preparation and revision prepare a plan of your own according to your flexibility and feasibility obviously my plan is different from yours and vice versa but it is ideal to spend at least six to eight hours per day from now to cover all the sections that is vrc quant dlr also don't spend too much time on planning itself it is the execution that matters a lot. There is a video on our channel by Chandra sir about study plans. Do check out before you plan. The link is given in the description. Again, the most emphasis that we have is on the basics. Almost 
85 to 90 percent of aspirants try to spend a lot of time in solving different and difficult questions ignoring the basics obviously this will only result in waste of your efforts instead focus on basics be strong in your fundamentals use a constructive approach and build conceptual understanding in each and every topic this will fetch you a good cat percentile next once you study any topic be it from quant verbal or dlr try to note this down and prepare of notes of your own this will be the one stop book during a revision and helps you to brush up your concepts during the entire preparation phase the next best thing that you to do is revise your success in the exam depends on how best you revise recall them and apply them in the exam if you want to understand more about how to prepare for each section do watch out our guidance videos by chandra and master sir for the exams video links are given in the description yeah so the fourth thing that we suggest you to do is take mock test do analysis and prepare exam strategy yes mocks are going to be a game changer for your exam so start giving sectional mocks first and then followed by full length mocks try to give at least 10 sectional mocks of each section and 20 full length mocks one major mistake is that most of the aspirants don't do mock analysis after the test this is not going to help you in any way Again, the emphasis is more on quality than quantity. It does not matter on the number of tests you take. All it matters is the test analysis, identifying the mistakes and weak areas, trying to improve them by revising concepts, practicing more questions, and trying to improve on the areas where you are scoring less or no marks. Also, prepare your own exam strategy. You are not required to solve all the questions in the exam. Solve at least 15 to 18 questions in each section with 95% accuracy and trust me, this will fetch you a good percentile. The fifth and the most important thing is physical and mental health well-being. Well, we understand that running behind the competition to stay ahead is, in this race is important. But it is also important to be healthy both physically and mentally to ace the exam. Have a daily routine, stay healthy, do exercises, play the sports of your choice, drink plenty of water, also maintain a proper sleep cycle, have at least 6 to 7 hours of proper sleep. Also during this preparation you will feel a lot of stress, anxiety and demotivation. It's a good practice to do meditation and yoga if possible. Following this will increase your level of concentration towards the test and gives you a willpower and energy during your preparation also with time we'll be uploading videos for mock strategy sectional strategy and many more that can help you to crack the cat exam all you need to do is prepare prepare and prepare we will be there for you and give you enough information through our social media channels when and where required stay tuned